Well, Brewers <laughs> make the postseason just the fifth time in their history. They're one of seven teams to have never won a World Series, and they've only been to one, and that was back in 1982. Does this team have the magic? They certainly are playing like they do. They have the depth, especially offensively, right. and you've seen Kristen Yellis emerge as the MVP and the star. Another great Marlin traded, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Kane, and you kind of scratch your head about the pickup, but you saw those two guys bring life and right. energy and courage into that locker room. You saw Jesus Aguilar emerge as a true power oh, threat. Yeah. You know, it boosted bronze, you know, you know, play to you want to be a part of it. And you saw them develop one of the best bullpens in all of baseball. You know, and so it's fun to watch and you're waiting as a fan for them to fail because they've had epic failures the second half as a team. But right now, they're the top dog and they're playing and they're confident at the right time. I'm really, really happy for this organization. Really proud. I know a bunch of guys over there. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy all that middle Yeah, line. for sure, man. Enjoy that champagne. Bob Euchre. Yeah. There he is. Bob. Oh, Bob. Amazing. Looking like, like that, he came, right? look at, look at that. He came from fishing. Look like he came from fishing, Bob. <laughs> but how amazing is that, man? Hey, I'm going to piggyback on you, Don yeah. Trail, and, and I'm just going to jump on the bullpen bandwagon right now. Listen, in August, when the team was 13 and 13, the ERA was pitching, or the bullpen was pitching to a six ERA. Right. In the month of September, they are now 15 and seven. The bullpen is pitching to now a two ERA. That is a huge movement going mm -hmm. forward. They, that was absolutely the backbone of their squad earlier in the season. Right. And now all of a sudden they figured it out late again. And if you want to win big games like these guys are playing right now, you got to have shut down innings, and that's what they're getting. Well, when they acquired Lorenzo Cain and Yelich, you thought, okay, they're improving things with the bullpen. They're still one of the top uh, in the top five and hitting home runs in all of baseball. But this is a very different Milwaukee vibe than the ones who had had leads at the All-Star break, sizable division, whatever, and faded. This one, whether it's the additions or just having been through that experience, they have put on quite a run here, and it looks like they're not letting up. You yeah. saw Chassin. He's got 14, yeah. 15 wins. You did not see that coming. Right. So they took a lot of pressure off that starting rotation, told him, hey, you don't have to be great. Just be solid. Get us a lead, and we'll get to the bullpen, and we'll shut it down. That's our formula. They also can hit the ball out of the ballpark with the best of them. You cannot totally. sit there and have lulls to their line. Up. You have to execute pitches. They hit for power to all fields, and they have right-handed and left-handed power. Mm -hmm. This is a fun team to watch, and I tell you what, the Brew Crew gets that stadium rocking. Yeah, you right? see the energy up there, so this is the first time in a long time for them to go into the postseason. I expect them to do some damage. Absolutely. And a chance now just, uh, well, tied for the division officially, depending upon what the Cubs do. If the Cubs lose against the Pirates at home, then Milwaukee will catapult into first place.